The Coastal Plains region of Virginia is the most recent addition to Virginia's geologic landscape. Most sediments exposed to the surface are younger than 10 million years old. The sediments in the Coastal Plains derive from erosion of material from the Blue Ridge and the Piedmont. In a sense, the Coastal Plains are made of ancient mountains that have been worn away and carried out to the sea. Fossils of marine features all over the Coastal Plain tell the story of Virginia's recent geologic history. Just a few million years ago, the coastline stretched over the Coastal Plain all the way to modern-day Richmond and the Fall Line. All over the Coastal Plain, you can find evidence of this marine covering and fossil-rich layers that hold the remains of sea creatures great and small. Though most of the Coastal Plain is made of sediment, enough time has passed to create some sedimentary rock from this material. Here in Yorktown, geology meets history at Cornwallis's cave. This cave was allegedly the last hideout for British forces during the American Revolutionary War. Cornwallis's forces had been driven back to the shore and held this cave until they were forced to surrender. The cave itself is made of coquina, an organic sedimentary rock made from compressed shells. The coquina is soft enough that it can be carved by hand, meaning this cave is likely entirely man-made. The coastal plain holds the Chesapeake Bay at its heart. The bay is the largest estuary, body of semi-salty water, in the United States. Many unique species can only live in estuaries, and Virginia's fishing industry centers around the bay. All four of Virginia's major rivers, the Potomac, the Rappahannock, the York, and the James, feed into the bay. The coastal plain is also home to Virginia's shorelines on the ocean. These shorelines include barrier islands that shelter Virginia's mainland from storm fronts and provide living space for wetlands wildlife. Assateague Island, at the north end of Virginia's eastern shore region, is one such place. If you look to one side, you can see the Atlantic Ocean. If you look the other way, you'll see another beach on the edge of the barrier island facing inland.